Hi guys, so I filmed this video five minutes ago and it was so blurry like I started editing and I was like no Okay, so I'm filming again. It is a massive Massive haul. I'm gonna try to go through this stuff as quickly as possible. I have a ton. This is collective. It's from like a month of shopping. Some of it is gifts, some of it's PR. I have shoes, I have clothes, I have pictures, I have I have everything. So I'm gonna start with what's on my bed. I got a few things from Adore Me, and if you guys follow me, you would remember me talking about two robes that they had sent me. And the red one, I will show you guys. It's on my door. I wear it every single night. That's all of the cards that you guys send me. I always hang them up on my door. Um, I What's happening to my hair? I, I'm having a really rough day. This week has been so busy. But Adore Me contacted me and asked if I would like to pick two more things. And I was like, oh my god, yes. Because the one robe that they sent me, my mom ended up stealing. So I just have the red one and I wear it every day like I wear it out so they ended up well I picked it but they sent me this peach robe peach or pink it's even softer than my red one if that's even possible I will put in a clip of it so you guys can see it but it's just like this really light peach color it has a hood it has a tie around the waist these are the greatest robes and I'm not making any commission off of like if you guys buy I make nothing I don't have an affiliate link they are just the best I have Victoria's Secret robes I have like I have so many robes and these are just they're so soft I don't even know how it's possible oh my god I love this one so much and then I picked out a pair of pajamas because I felt like I did not need three robes so I picked these out and it's just a little tank top and it's so soft and then the pants that go with it are just so cute <gasps> aren't they so cute and I got a large um, I usually wear a medium but I got a large because I like for my pajamas to be a little bit looser so that's why I got a large but they fit I would say pretty true to size in the robes I get an extra large because I want it to be like super big and cozy and I will link a door me down below I feel like everything just went really really orange what the heck do you guys see that I'm like totally orange right now. Anyway, I will link Adore Me down below if you guys are interested. Um, I picked up this tank top from Marshalls. It's by the brand Pink Rose, I think. Oh my god, my battery's dying. Pink Rose, and it's just a little tank top. It has palm trees on it. It's so cute. I think it's going to look really nice with a tan. And it was only 10 bucks. So cute. I got two pairs of sneakers. I am a sneaker addict. Like, you guys will never see me come on here and show you five pairs of high heels that I bought. I'm six foot tall barefoot. So I don't really wear high heels unless it is like a super fancy event. So sneakers are just what I live in. Sneakers and flats. So I got these Nikes. They are the Nike Free 4.0 fly knit something like that I'll put the name down below they are just like my life right now I love them so much there are, there's like no nothing to them they're just it's like fabric it's the weirdest thing they almost feel like water shoes like those aqua socks but they are so comfortable and when you have them on you can like not really see through the top but you can kind of see it's probably not showing up on camera, but oh my god, I love them so much. So cute. I got them at Dick's. I love me some Dick's. And then I got this pair from Target. Aren't they so cute? I just love these kind of shoes. I have very narrow feet, and these are always made really narrow. Um, I'm a size 8, if anybody's wondering. I know I have very, very tiny feet for as tall as I am. But yeah, I thought these were. Oh, I got a nine in these. These must run small. That's so weird. I'm usually an eight. I wonder if I grabbed the wrong size. <gasps> anyway, 
I got those. Darn it, I think I grabbed the wrong size. Son of a bitch. And then I wanna show you guys these two pictures that I got, but I'm gonna insert a clip so you guys can see them. I got both of them at Marshall's. They were $16.99 a piece. I'm getting ready to kind of redo things in here, like I'm gonna be painting and just getting a new bed set and new pictures. I'm just over this whole setup. So these two pictures, I just thought they were so pretty, and I think I'm going to put them on my wall back here where I have that stupid flowered picture. So I'm just redoing it, and they were perfect. Like, they were exactly what I was looking for, so yay. And then I got this little guy at Marshall's. I love this thing way too much. Like, I love it so much that I had to find a spot for it right in front of me. Isn't it just, like... It reminds me of my grandma, like this old fashioned little vase or vase that it's in. And it was only like eight bucks. I wanted more, but they only had one. Oh, look, it's like a barrette. Anyway, okay. And then I got the one that I have sitting back there. I know you can't see it right now, but I'll put in a clip. It's just roses and this like rectangular little thingamajig, but it's so pretty. I feel like those types of fake flowers they don't look super fake they're not like those really crappy like plastic flowers i just think they make a room look so nice and that was 20 i think it was 19.99 and i got this makeup bag at target i saw this in a video someone was it sam from samage i think i think that's who it was but when I saw this on her channel, I was like, oh my god, I am getting that bag. I like that inside it has these two little um, pouches, but they Velcro. So you can just take them out and then stick them back in. I just think that's like genius. It has a little brush area and then it has just a big zippy. Yes, that's how you zip. So it's really cute, right? It was 25 bucks. I was like, oh, I thought it was gonna be like 18, but it was 25, but I feel like it was worth it because I love it so much. Look, it's lips, like it's so cute. Okay, how many times have I said the word cute and we've been doing this for five minutes? Okay, so now getting into makeup, I'm gonna breeze through this because you guys, I have a ton. So I'm gonna start with drugstore. So I finally found the two other Maybelline palettes that I've been searching for forever. The Blushed Nudes is exclusive to Walmart, which I did not know until all of my subscribers told me. I posted about it and I said I couldn't find it and honestly every single subscriber I have said it's exclusive to Walmart. So thank you guys for that. But this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I haven't heard the best reviews on it but I wanted to give it a try for myself. So look for this to come in a video. I am way behind on videos right now but mama's gonna get caught up. Yes you and then I got the brights palette I think this one is exclusive to Target um, I did swatch this one and I'll show you guys in the close-up the pigmentation is not good I actually think the pigmentation is better on this guy the blushed one this one just swatching it it's not promising and then I got two Rimmel mascaras because they were buy one get one 50% off at CVS. So I got the Lash Accelerator. So many people keep telling me I need to use this on my lower lashes. So I'm going to try it out. And then I got the Wonder Lash with Argan Oil. I feel like this is a good one to do a first impression on. So yeah, I'm going to save it. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Two mascaras. You said that. And I also got two more of my L'Oreal Infallible. I got 106 and 107, and I'm actually wearing 106 today because I am self-tanned. Oh my god, this drives me crazy when my necklace gets messed up. Um, anyway, this is my all-time favorite foundation. Like, I have come to the conclusion that I love this more than my Makeup Forever HD, which is like my holiest of holy grail foundations this is better. This is the greatest foundation I've ever used in my entire life. I know you guys are tired of hearing about it, but it is so good. I wear it every day of my life. 
every single day. I have not touched another foundation. I, I just can't. Oh, you guys, this is exciting. I found these two Chic Luminosity Bronzer Highlight Duos at Target. They're from Sonia Kashuk. This one does not have a name on it, but that's what it looks like. And then this guy is in the shade, can I open it? It's in the shade Glow. They are so good. I mean, they are so good. Like, I am in love with them, both of them. I think I like this one a little bit better. This one's more of like a, well, it's like a bronzer and a highlight. Like, oh, that was perfect. I got both sides. But do you see how, like, the bronzer side is super, it's not shimmery, but it has that sheen, and it just makes your skin look so gorgeous. This one is a, mm, I have my windows open sorry um this one is a little bit more on the like pinky side when you swatch it but again they are just I mean I love both of them so 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 much I've been wearing them the past few days I have this one on today just they're amazing you need them they are so so good how many times? How many times are you going to say it, Topaz? And then from Physicians Formula, I got the Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in Light Bronze Pearl. This is so pretty. Like, Physicians Formula does really, really good products. Um, let me wipe my slow full. Oh, I have a wipe. <laughs> okay, let me give you guys a little swatch. This is so beautiful. I love Physicians Formula. Hey, where'd you come from? That's, um pepper from okay sorry my battery died so there it is swatched it's really pretty that's not even doing it justice it's really really gorgeous on the okay, face i think that's it for drugstore so moving into high end i have a lot of stuff so first off i got the kat von d shade light eye palette I feel like everyone is raving about this right now and i do love it i do really really like it I've used it, I mean, I've been testing it out now for over a week. I like it, but you guys, I still prefer, if I can get it out, my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. This little palette is just the best. The colors are actually very, very similar, but the Kat Von D one, I feel like if you're a beginner, this is not for you because it is so pigmented and it's just like if you make a mistake you're screwed because they are so intense the Too Faced one it's pigmented but it's it's just so easy to blend I just feel like the colors are easier to work with with this one so I feel like I'm the only person in the history of the world that is not like falling out of my panties over this I do think it's great like I use it I I have nothing bad to say about it I'm just not I'm not wowed as much as everyone else is so I feel like I'm going to be so in the minority, but I don't know. That's just how I feel. This was given to me as a gift. Actually, these two things. They're from Guerlain. Guerlain. I think that's how you say it. This is the Terracotta Bronzing Powder in Numero Dose, number two. I know, it looks really, really orange, and you're like, where the hell are you going to put that? People rave about this. I mean, people rave about it. I haven't tried it yet. It is extremely warm, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, yeah, if you guys have tried this, let me know. I, I don't know. I'm like, is it going to work on me? It's so warm. But we're going to try. We're going to make it work. I have faith. I have faith in you, girl on. And then I also have the Jolie Tint Beautifying Foundation in Natural. I have heard three YouTubers talk about this in the past like four days. So I am so excited to try it. It has a pump. It's supposed to be like a very luminous, dewy, like summery foundation. So I'm very excited. You already said that. I'm saying it again. From Hourglass, I picked up one of their new bronzers. This one is Luminous Bronze Light. It's so pretty. I feel like this is actually very similar to these two Sonia Kashuk ones. So if you don't want to dish out the money on this guy, grab one of these. I think they're very similar. This is 
beautiful. Like the color it gives is very warm, but it's not orange. It just has like that warm tone to it. It has a little bit of not shimmer, but it definitely has a sheen to it. It makes you look really healthy and just summery and bronzy. Formula is really good. I definitely recommend these. I do want to get the darker one, the radiant one. I don't know why I went with the lighter shade. I always go darker, but I'm going to have both because I'm keeping this one and I'm getting the darker one. But yeah, if you guys were curious about these, definitely, definitely recommend them. I'm happy I got it. And I'm getting another one. What do you have to say about that, Topaz? Um, what else do I have? I have a few Charlotte Tilbury products that they sent me as PR. I have the Chic, wait, <laughs> Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in Love is the Drug. Yes, it looks like a big old nipple. I don't know why, but it looks like a boob, right? Like the nipple and the, yeah, they know. Um, this is so pretty. It looks really, really pretty on. It has a sheen to it. It's pink. Pink sheeny blushes are my thing, so of course I'm going to love this. Do I think it's worth the high price tag? I haven't decided yet. I'm still trying it out. As of right now, I would say it's a gorgeous sheeny pink blush, but I don't see anything like earth shattering about it, but that's just first impression. So I'm still, still testing the old girl out. And then I have the Full Fat Lash Mascara. This is called Full Fat Lashes, but in order for me to get like va va voom lashes, I have to do like four coats of this. I don't know if I got a different one. I feel like everybody else wears this and they get dramatic lashes like right away. I have to do four coats of this. I mean, it's a gorgeous mascara. It gives you length. Not so much volume for me, but it does give like fluffy, fluttery lashes, which you guys know that's what I like. Again, this is just like first impression. I've only used this two times. So maybe once it dries out a little bit, it'll be holy grail. I don't know. Just telling it like it is as of right now. I think I'm losing my voice. I have poison everywhere. Okay, that was a weird jump. Anyway, from NARS, I got one of their lipsticks. Uh, oh, fuzzy. Um, this is not one of the audacious ones. It's just one of their regular lippies. This is Belle Du Jour. I blame this purchase on Katie from Luster Lux. She's been wearing this lipstick so much, and it's so pretty. It's so pretty on her. I don't know if it's as pretty on me. I like to think it is. But it's just this very soft, can you see it right there? It's a very, mm, it's such a sheer nude, but it still gives you a good amount of color, but it has a very like light formula. I, I, yeah, I really, really love it. There are like four more that I want. Cat Fight, Pago Pago, there's so many of the NARS lippies that I want, but at $27 a piece, yeah, this bitch has to get one at a time. Oh, I have another foundation. This is the By Terry Denseless Wrinkle Control Serum Foundation. Yes, your girl is old. Back up off me. This is in the shade Warm Sand. I haven't tried it yet because it's a little too dark. I have to wait till I'm like super July, August tan. But I've heard good things about it. This foundation is so expensive. So this better make me look like I'm 16 again. If it doesn't, we's gonna have some problems. Okay, anyway, moving on. And then from Napoleon Purtis, I have the Rebirth of Venus Skin Renewal Cleansing Oil. I must have commented about this on one of their pictures and they sent this to me. You guys know how much I love Napoleon Purtis. Like, love them. In my heart, they are just the nicest company. They always answer me back if I email them, if I comment on Instagram. They're just, they're so nice. And I like that they take that extra little step 
just to comment back and it's not just to me I see them commenting back to their subscribers their followers on Instagram that to me makes a big difference so anyway back to the product this is oh my gosh you guys it's such a good cleansing oil I love cleansing oils my Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm is like my holy grail I use that pretty much every day this one is giving it a run for its money this is really nice it gets waterproof mascara off like it just takes everything off immediately and it doesn't give you that like greasy after feeling after effect put those hands down you are working my last nerve it's a really good cleansing oil. Oh my god, I hate you so bad. I got a few new products from ColourPop, and I ordered and paid for these by myself. I got two of their new blushes. This one is, wait, what is it? Oh, Olive. This is gorgeous. Look, I've already put a dent in it. I have been rocking this. It is, oh my god, you guys. Prenup is my favorite ColourPop blush. This may be my second favorite. I mean, I love this color so much. And then I also got Rain. And this looks scary, but I promise you when you put this on, here, I'll show you guys. It doesn't look like bright purple on your cheeks. It just gives you the softest, like, lavender. It's really, really nice. I had no idea it was going to be this purple when I got it, and I was like, I'm never going to be able to wear that. But I tried it, and it's good. It's good. I don't know why I doubted ColourPop, because everything that they do, everything is good. Then I got one of their eyeshadows. This one is Daddy. Say my name, Daddy. This one's just a matte purple, and it's pigmented like the pigmentation is there I haven't worn this one yet I've only swatched it like 5,000 times because I can't keep my hands out of makeup but it seems like it's going to be really nice and then I got a couple of their new lippies I got Tootsie which I will swatch for you guys in a close-up because I have officially run out of room but this is supposed to be like a dupe for cashmere from Lime Crime I don't think that they're dupes, but I do think it's very close if you pair it with the lip liner. I mean, it's a really pretty, like, I think I actually like this better than cashmere, which I'm not wearing cashmere anymore. I don't support Lime Crime any longer. If you don't know why, just Google Lime Crime and you will, you can read all about it. But this is a gorgeous color. It does show up a little bit darker on me than I think cashmere did. But I love it. I mean, yeah, love it. And then I have fern, which I guess I am swatching for you guys. I just kind of started without realizing it. This is really nice because it's a purple, but it's not like intense like fluorescent the brightest purple ever it's kind of like a soft it's almost like a pastel neon you guys know that whole nail trend that I love that reminds me a lot of it in a lip color this one is pepper this is probably my favorite one that's the one that is that the one I had down there I don't know but here I'll put it up here it's just like purple and pink at the same time it looks gorgeous on with like no other makeup just mascara and a little bit of bronzer and then this <gasps> you guys I can't and then this is what I have on today this is Westy and it's a gorgeous pink what is that voice I don't even know where that came from but it's like a nude pink but on me it's a little I guess it's more pink than nude but I love it. I've had this one now for like six hours, no joke, and it is still going strong. ColourPop lippies, you guys, I'm telling you, I can't get enough. I can't. I have to do some sort of like ColourPop lip swatch video because I have so many of them. What is that? Okay, we're almost done, I promise. I have two of Clinique's Cheek Pops. These were a gift from a friend. So I have, oh God, I can't get it open, Ginger Pop and Plum Pop. These blushes are 
like just look how cute they are look at that they're little tiny flowers can you I can't every time I wear them it's like exciting because the packaging is so cute but they wear really well they're gorgeous they're not too intense which I really appreciate they're, oh, did you see that? I totally missed. They're just so pretty. Look like little eyeballs or boobs, not boobs. Okay, moving right along. Okay, I might as well show this to you guys. One of my subscribers had commented on one of my pictures and asked me if I wanted to purchase her purchase her backup of Max Kindergarten Red from the Isabel Toledo line. And of course I was like, oh hell yes. So she sent it to me and I have it. So I finally have all three. My collection is complete. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? That's what she looks like. Again, I'll say it, I know some people don't love these blushes because the pigmentation is low. I love that about them. I appreciate that and I am so happy that I have this. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Like, oh, yes. Yes. Yes, God, I know. You guys, you guys, this is exciting. Now, a lot of you know that I love Beach from Bobbi Brown. It smells like straight up sunscreen and I posted about it on Instagram and a couple of you said I needed to try Replica Beach Walk. So I ordered it on Sephora when I got my Hourglass Bronzer. Oh my god, you guys were so right, as usual. I think I like this better than Beach. And Beach has been a favorite of mine for a long time. This smells so good. Like, I, I can't even tell you how freaking good. Oh my god, you guys. It smells like sunscreen, but it has a little something extra in there that I think is why I like it a little bit more than beach oh my god it smells heavenly if you like the scent of sunscreen i'm telling you guys bobby brown beach and replica beach walk you will never wear another perfume in your life speaking of scents i picked up the bath and body works georgia peach and sweet tea fragrance mist i almost just knocked myself out with it Lemon, rose, and peach are my three favorite scents. Rose, lemon, then peach. That's the order. So when I saw peach, I was like, yes, I need to take you home with me. We might as well spray it. We're spraying everything else. It smells like straight up peaches. It smells so good. It's in my mouth. It is straight up in my mouth. Okay, from Estee Lauder, I picked up the Bronze Goddess Illuminating Powder Gelee. Don't you love that word? Um, I had such high hopes for this, and you guys know, oh, excuse that, you guys know that I really like an intense, hardcore, like, I want to be able to see it from the moon kind of highlight. This is just, it's very, very subtle. If you like a subtle, like, peachy gold highlight, you will love this. I'm not sad that I got it. I do really like it. I just, I wish it were a little bit more intense. I wish it were more like heat wave, which I want my hands. I need my hands to be on heat wave. Hmm. Anyway, I mean, I have the Makeup Forever dupe, but I still want Heat Wave. I want it so bad. You know what I just realized? I didn't show you guys the third Charlotte Tilbury product that they sent me. The Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation in Medium. Did I show this to you guys? I don't think so. I'm going to do a first impression on this because I feel like it's a very, like, summery, dewy. It's supposed to be a very, like, luminous foundation. So I feel like it is perfect for this time of year. Haven't tried it yet. First impression is coming. I'm excited. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. Oh, please be good. And I think this is the very last thing. The Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Laura Mercier powders are like my newest obsession. I love NARS powders. They're probably my favorite powders. I've said powder six times, um, but I got the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I fell hard. Like under the eyes, it is 
gorgeous. This I've been wearing all over the face just as a setting powder or like a touch up powder. Oh, it is so, so just like angels have kissed, kissed the shit out of your face. Oh, I didn't show this to you guys, my Sigma mat. Sigma sent this to me. I actually contacted them and asked them if they would send it to me because I want to do a brush cleaning video, but I really wanted to try this out and see if it's worth the money. Does it make a difference? Does it shorten the time spent washing brushes? I love washing my makeup brushes. Like I look forward to it, which I know is very odd. But for those of you that are normal and think that it's a pain in the ass to do, we're gonna test this out together in a video. It may not be up for like another week to two weeks because I am very, very behind with videos. So just please bear with me. Don't hate me. Rate, rate, relax. You relax. Um, anyway, I'm gonna test it out. It's the big one that goes like in your entire sink. I have my little tiny, here, let me grab him. Do you guys remember Glove? This is actually Uncle Carol. For my OG subscribers, you remember Uncle Carol? We had some good times, didn't we? Yeah. Anyway, that's what I use to wash my gloves. Gloves, my brushes. So I am very excited for this guy. End scene. I think we have finally come to the end. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this extremely long video. Yeah. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for 80,000 subscribers. We're almost at 100. I can smell that silver play button. You can smell it. I can smell that shit. Okay, so I love you guys. Thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I have to get videos up. Like, what is wrong with you? I've been slacking. I've been so busy. And then I had a mic issue. That reminded me of a song. Microphone check. Okay, so that's it. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, it is 9.09. What the fudge? What the fridge? What the funktastic? Legit, you guys? No, not legit. <laughs> that took a lot out of me. Really, like a lot. I probably should have broken this video down into two parts. <laughs> I mean, this is car makeup. This was done in the car like 13 hours ago. Don't judge a girl. You guys know how I roll. I roll gangsta. Wait, gangsta. No, that's just, you're not gangsters. Stop trying to be. They're, they are super cute, right? I love them. And they're like, oh, I'm going to put you on right now. I'm going to dress you up with my I know, you're afraid. Trust me. I was afraid too. But just come to my, my side. Come to the dark side. Come to the makeup filled camel toad side. I can't do this any longer. I honestly, you guys, my throat, I'm about to lose my shit. I mean, it is the best of the best. So, I'm not going to keep you guys. You need these. They are so good. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. Did you see that? It was like, what is that thing? A tambourine? Where you're like. These are, it's just like, it's so pretty. You, you have to look at them. They are so cute. Oh, my God. They are so cute. I want these to be good. Don't say it's all bad. I feel like they're gonna suck. Suck it off. I think these are like my favorite thing that I hold. Oh my god, these are so beautiful. Shut up, Sonia, you bitch. That is so wrong. She's pumping out good products for you. And all you can do is call her a bitch. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> oh, you guys are so pretty. Oh. I love Napoleon Purtis. Oh, and by the way, he's Greek. Someone commented to me once and they were like, Napoleon Purtis is not Greek. He's Italian or something. And I was like, I oh, know, bitch. He is certainly Greek. He's my daddy. Oh my god, wouldn't that be amazing if Napoleon Purtis was your dad? Napoleon, will you be my daddy? Seriously, I want him to be my dad. He's probably too young to be my dad, but I would certainly call him daddy. Wait, this is getting weird. Don't do it, because they're such nice people. Such nice people. It's because they're Greek. Greek for the win. Oh, oh, just so little and, like, tiny. Right there, inside.